15 Discoveries About African History Despite the atrocities of slavery, sharecropping, and the Jim Crow era, early African Americans made incalculable contributions to science and technology. However, this bloodline and culture of achievement originated in Africa at least 40,000 years ago. Unfortunately, few of us are aware of these achievements because Africa's history, outside of ancient Egypt, is rarely discussed. Unfortunately, the vast majority of debates on the beginnings of science are dominated by Greeks, Romans, and other whites. Most of these finds, however, occurred thousands of years after African advancements. But before we move on to the next step first subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Number 15. Math. Only a few of us are aware that many modern high school mathematics principles, as well as the original way of counting, were invented in Africa. Egyptians wrote math textbooks more than 35,000 years ago that featured fraction division and multiplication, as well as geometric formulas for calculating the area and volume of forms. Distances and angles were determined, algebraic equations were solved, and numerical projections of the size of Nile floods were made. The ancient Egyptians calculated 3.14 pi as the number of degrees in a circle. People in present-day Zaire, as well as Yoruba people in what is now Nigeria, devised their own numeration system 8,000 years ago. This system has been praised by academics because it required a lot of abstract reasoning. Number 14. Astronomy. Several ancient African cultures gave origin to astronomical discoveries. Many of these are still foundations, and some were so far ahead of their time that their way of discovery is still a mystery. Egyptians kept track of the sun's movement, constellations, and lunar cycles. They divided the year into 12 sections and devised a 365-day year-long calendar system. Clocks with running water were utilized, as were sundial-style clocks. The African Stonehenge, which was built approximately 300 BC in present-day Kenya, was a wonderfully precise calendar. Number 13. Metallurgy and Tools. Throughout ancient Africa, many improvements in metallurgy and tool production were developed. Steam engines, metal chisels and saws, copper and iron tools and weapons, nails, glue, carbon steel and bronze weapons and art are only a few examples. Between 1,500 and 2,000 years ago, advancements in Tanzania, Rwanda, and Uganda outpaced those of Europeans, and Europeans were astounded when they learned of them. Tanzanian furnaces might reach 1,800 degrees Celsius, 200 to 400 degrees Celsius hotter than Roman furnaces. Number 12. Architecture and Engineering. Various African societies in the past constructed complex architectural landscapes. Of course, there are the Egyptian engineering marvels. The largest of the pyramids is 13 acres in size and built up of 2.25 million stone blocks. Later, in the 12th century, and considerably further south, Zimbabwe and Mozambique had hundreds of major cities. Massive stone constructions served as the city's nerve centers. A 250-meter-long, 15,000-ton curving granite wall was one of them. Massive castle-like compounds with multiple chambers for specialized tasks, such as iron smithing, were found in the cities. Mali's empire included spectacular cities, notably Timbuktu, with grand palaces, mosques, and universities in the 13th century. Number 11. Medicine. Many of the treatments we utilize today were used by various ancient African peoples. Medicine in what is now Egypt, Nigeria, and South Africa, to mention a few regions, was more sophisticated than medicine in Europe prior to the European colonization of Africa. Some of these methods included the usage of plants containing salicylic acid, as in aspirin, kaolin for diarrhea, and extracts that were confirmed to kill gram-positive bacteria in the 20th century. Other herbs were employed that had anti-cancer effects, caused miscarriage, and treated malaria, and were found to be as successful as many modern-day Western remedies. Number 10. Navigation. The majority of us are taught that Europeans were the first to set sail for the New World. Several lines of evidence, on the other hand, indicate that ancient Africans traveled to South America and Asia hundreds of years before Europeans. Thousands of miles of canals were used as trading routes across Africa. Small reed-based vessels, sailboats, and bigger buildings with multiple cabins and even cooking facilities were all developed by ancient African societies. Number 9. Skeletons. Pre-human skeletons dating back 4 to 5 million years have been discovered in Africa. 
The Australopithecus ramidus, who lived at least 4.4 million years ago, is regarded to be humanity's oldest known ancestor. Number 8. Mining. 43,000 years ago, Africans were the first to start mining. In Swaziland, a hematite mine was discovered on Bavu Ridge in the Nguenya mountain range in 1964. Thousands of stone-made mining tools were among the 300,000 objects found. One of the archaeologists on the site, Adrian Bashir, estimated the mine to be 43,200 years old. Number 7. Arithmetic. Basic arithmetic was invented by Africans 25,000 years ago. The Ashango bone is a tool handle with notches carved into it that was discovered near Lake Edward in the Ashango district of Zaire, now called Congo. Three rows of notches are present on the tool. Row 1 has three notches next to the number 6, four notches next to the number 8, ten notches next to two fives, and finally a seven. The doubling process is represented by the three and six, four and eight, and ten and five. Row 2 has 11 notches between 21 notches, and 19 notches between 9 notches. Number 6. Cultivation of crops. The first known agricultural achievements were made by Africans 12,000 years ago. Professor Fred Wendorf discovered that barley, capers, chickpeas, dates, beans, lentils, and wheat were grown in Egypt's western desert. Their prehistoric tools were also found. Grindstones, milling stones, cutting blades, hide scrapers, engraving burns, and mortars and pestles were among the tools available. Number 5. Fishing Expedition. 90,000 years ago, Africans were the first to organize fishing excursions. A superbly made series of harpoon tips, all elaborately polished and barbed, was discovered in Katanda, an area in northeastern Zaire, now Congo. A well-crafted instrument, thought to be a dagger, was also discovered. The findings suggested that an early aquatic or fishing-based culture existed. Number 4. Mummifying. 9,000 years ago, Africans mummified their dead. Under the Uwin Mahujiag rock shelter in southwestern Libya, a mummified newborn was discovered. The newborn was buried in the fetal position and mummified using a highly advanced process that must have evolved over hundreds of years. The process is at least 1,000 years older than the oldest mummies discovered in ancient Egypt. Although carbon dating is debatable, the mummy could date from 7,438, 220, BC. Number 3. Sculpturing. 7,000 or more years ago, Africans sculpted the world's first enormous sculpture. The head of a man was merged with the body of a lion to create the Great Sphinx of Giza. Professor Robert Schock of Boston University, a geologist, established in October 1991 that the Sphinx was sculpted between 5,000 and 7,000 BC, ages he judged conservative. Number 2. Agriculture. Archaeologists have long questioned whether cattle were domesticated independently in Africa, the Near East, and the Indus Valley. Donkeys were domesticated from African wild asses, according to genetic evidence. Enslaved Africans may have introduced African methods of rice cultivation to North Carolina. This could have had a role in the colony of North Carolina's success. Number 1. Warfare. The zebra was never kept as a pet. Tropical Africa's army was primarily made up of infantry. Bows and arrows were used, with poison-tipped arrows compensating for limited bow strength. In Central Africa, throwing knives, spears that could also be used as thrusting cutting weapons, and swords were also used. Heavy clubs that could crush bones when hurled, as well as battle axes and shields of varying sizes, were widely used. Later firearms included flintlock, wheelock, and matchlock muskets. Guns were also widely used in Africa, contrary to popular belief. I hope you find this video helpful. If you liked the video, do like and subscribe as it really helps our channel and do remember to give your feedback in the comments below.